This, ladies and gentlemen, is not a stick. It's not a twig which broke off from a tree and fell into the ocean. It's a fish. It's called the stick pipefish. Now, the pipefish are relatives of the seahorses. Like the seahorses, the males take the fertilized eggs and stick them to their bodies. What's the difference between this stick pipefish and a seahorse? Well, mainly seahorses also have this very elaborate grasping tail. You can see that here, how the seahorse holds on to this little structure underwater and it's almost like a finger. So this is something the seahorses have evolved, but the pipefish don't have. Other than that, they belong to the same fish family. Now, you want strange looking fish. Here you have more of them. These are robust ghost pipefish, a couple of them, and they don't camouflage themselves as a stick. They camouflage themselves as pieces of detached seagrass. So there's a similar s strategy in terms of survival and in terms of evading predators. And they're related, but they're not very closely related. So while the seahorses and the pipefish are the Syngnatide, the fused jaw fishes, these are the Solenostomide. And they are two different families, but they're in the same order. So here you see the eye movement of this fish. I think it's really cool. I'm actually quite excited about this nice macro footage I got here. And there is a very important difference between the pipefishes, the conventional ones, and the ghost pipefishes, which is reproduction. So in the ghost pipefishes, the female carries the fertilized eggs. And you can see the eggs in this pocket, which is formed by the pelvic fins of the female. And she's pulsating this pocket to aerate the eggs and there is also a structure which connects the fertilized eggs to the body of the female which is almost a placenta. It's called a cotylophore in these ghost pipefishes. And so this is a adaptation which is totally different from the seahorses and from the pipefish. So here you have it. There are several species of this ghost pipefish. This is a Halimeda ghost pipefish. And you see the pipefish, the ghost pipefish in the front. And you see this Halimeda algae in the back. And here it's hunting. And so this one is camouflaging itself as a Halimeda algae. So in this whole group of wider seahorse relatives, camouflage is the key. Now to summarize, so we have the order of the Syngnatiformes and then we have the family of the Syngnatide, which are the conventional pipefish, like the stick pipefish, which we saw, and seahorses. And then we have the Solenostomide, the ghost pipefishes, where we have seen a robust under Halimeda, and there are a couple more species. So this is how this taxonomy looks like. Now, in the Philippines, hence there are more relatives also among the fishes. So these are shrimp fish and they have this odd schooling behavior that they swim head down when they're feeding and they swim head forward like conventional fish when they're trying to escape. And if you look at the mouth of the jaws, they're actually relatively similar to those of seahorses. So these also belong in the order of the Syngnatiformes. Hence, we have the Syngnatiformes, we've learned there are the Syngnatide, seahorses and pipefish, the Solenostomide ghost pipefishes, then there are the shrimpfish, the Centraskide, and there are two smaller groups, you might have seen them, the trumpetfish and the cornetfish, the Allostomide and the Fistularide. So this is the neighborhood of the seahorses. Now, so here you see the jaws the mouth parts of this ghost pipefish and you can see that this is relatively similar to those of seahorses. I hope this has given you a good impression of what a ghost pipefish is and what they are related to. I hope you have enjoyed the macro footage. 
there is a little bit more footage from these amazing creatures which I see quite a bit when it's scuba diving in Darwin and check back to the channel support the channel there are a bunch of books which I've written which you might consider buying make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in a couple of days